Okay, first you need to clean some pennies. We've got a bunch of pennies, so I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna start with using the cleanest ones. Uh, you can just use tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. See, perfect. So let's look at the chemical equations here. The first one makes sense in IV chemistry. The second one doesn't, though. So zinc and copper touching each other in an electrolyte. The zinc has a more negative electropotential for its half cell voltage. And so what's going to happen is the zinc turns into zinc 2 plus ions, and it drops two electrons off onto the copper. That makes sense in IV chemistry. The next bit doesn't, though. The zinc 2 plus ions are attracted to the negative copper penny and then plate it in zinc. If you look at the equation, the arrow just flipped around again. So the penny is now zinc plated. So that explains the silver color. Now, when you heat up the zinc coated penny on the hot plate, what happens is the heat gives enough energy for the metallic bonds to break. And when they break, the zinc and the copper ions start to swap places. And that gives you the yellow color of the brass. I think there's someone hoovering outside. And when that cools down, you get the color of cold brass, which is gold colored. <laughs> 